This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. I'm with Susan Faulkner Evans on Darien, and we're getting ready. We're cooling him down after the warm up. We're going to do some halts and walks to cool him down. Darian is Susan's new teammate. They've been together a little over a year now. And he came to her with a few issues. We rode him in a double bridle last year simply because it was the only way he was safe, because he would root, rear, and run. As you can see this year, we now have him in a snap a bit. That's it. Take your time and feel what he's doing with his neck because that could be the source of a lot of things that are happening with him. So uh, he was ridden in side reins in his former look. That was nice and square, Susan. I like how you're making him wait now. Much better than the last time. He's not getting quite as resistant, and that was his first one. Take your time. Oh, nice, how nice you're using your rein now. Very nice, Susan. Square halts both times. Nice preparation. Good, he's starting to lift his back with his backs up, with his backups now. Good, Susan. Now you'll notice we're not being fussy about where he's putting his head right now. She can grab a hold of his face. He what? He's just knocking, you know, pushing his nose out a couple times. It seems to get less. Yep, it's getting less all the time. So at first he would just pull on the rein and drop his nose and run backwards type of thing. But we need him to, because they compete in pre-St. George and first intermediate one month. What a difference in the way he's using his hocks and backs. I'm mean, his back. It's a whole different movement than last week. Very nice, Susan. Good. And he may flip his head a little bit there at the beginning, but that's better than what he was doing before when he was backing. He's uphill. This is a big change because he'd drop his shoulders and run backwards. Good. Take your time. So she's working on Susan's working on getting him to back without touching the rain and keeping his back up. Good. Okay, we're gonna add some walk pirouettes in here just because we're cooling him down. So just do a couple, you know the routine. You start the pirouette until you feel his back end not working and then you go straight. Good, Susan. So he used to spin around on his walk pirouettes just disconnect and do go into robot mode we called it and you can see now he's taking clear steps halts are much better this week nice changes Susan good So what we're doing is little by little we're eliminating the resistances he came, came with, has, whatever. Like any older horse, he's 18 years old, they have to be re-educated. Good, you're feeling what he's doing with his back end. Nicely done. Very nice. So we're playing with different ways just to keep him relaxed and having fun. It's like a game. He's breathing this year. Last year he didn't breathe most of the time. Oh, look at him picking up all of his legs. Good, Susan. That was good. So his tendency before was to get stuck in the pirouettes where he'd just stomp a hind leg and pivot around it like a western horse. Four. Good, 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 good. Remember to give him lots of stretching breaks. That's good. He's still breathing heavy, so let's play with some other things at the walk. Let's see what he's doing with the leg yield, because you know it's just going back to the basics to get him to go from your leg and rein, no matter what you're doing. So add a little leg yield, and we're playing with a little longer rein, just to feel. So what I'm looking for, so you know, and you'll see it on the video, is I'm watching his hocks, and if they do the peg-legged type of thing where they don't make a circle, that's when his neck is too short. So that's what I'm looking for. And that's what you're starting to feel out. Like, you can feel he's under you right now, right? If you're not feeling that is when he's doing the peg-legged thing. Good, good. See if you can get more flow from behind. Praise him. Darian just started engaging, stepping up more from behind and lifting his back that way in the last month. Even though they played, they placed third place at the USDF Regional Championships last year in Intermediate 1. 
he wasn't moving like he is now. Good. Keep the activity behind. Nice, Susan. Good. Now he should be against your left rein on a leg yield. Good. Whoop. Learning how to use a new camera here, so excuse me while I zoom in and out. Keep the activity. Good. Good, good. All right, now let's go into the half passes. And every time we do an exercise, when you go to the end, give him a little stretch. Just a little, like a mini stretch, to make sure that he keeps reaching for the rein instead of his old tendency to crank his neck up and to jam it back into his shoulder. Good, praise him a lot. That's it. Make sure you can see through his ears on your half passes at the letter you're going towards. That way you'll know you've got his shoulders over. Good. That's right. It needs to be more. His right hind should be stepping between his two front legs. Good, Susan. Good, good. That's it. Introduce a couple steps, walk, pirouette after your half pass. Give him a stretch break, though. Praise him. Good. Now feel the way his back end is working right now. This is a nice walk he's doing from behind. You feel how it drops your seat? Our goal is to be able to keep that feeling when you take up the contact. Of course, it's not going to happen right away, but that's your goal. Okay, feel him dropping your seat. Now pick up the contact because you'll feel, as long as he's not, dro if he's not dropping your seat like that, that's when he's doing the peg leg behind with his hocks. Again, these are old issues that Darian has with their head. Very nice. And this year he has a much more natural top line and he's using his neck and hind quarters better. Good. You can feel he's still dropping your seat. Do you feel it? Which makes the steps on the front and the back a lot more even. Good, good. Same thing, half pass into walk pirouette. Just seeing how loose you can keep him stepping under you. Right, left, right, left, right, left. More energy. Good, good. That's when he peg legs it. You felt it, didn't you? Again, he's not being bad. You're, this is a whole different kind of pirouette he's doing now. So you want to feel, as soon as he starts getting that peg legged feeling, you just let him go straight. Yeah, he gets, he gets anxious. As I said, he didn't breathe for the first year. He was a little uptight about things. Good, 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 good. Very thoughtful. Okay, you're ready to trot.